Hi, I'm Li Chi. I'd like to show you a demonstration about light, magnetism, and matter. When light travels through water, it slows down, but its polarization is unchanged. When light travels through a vacuum, even a big magnetic field doesn't affect its path. But when light travels through water, or many other transparent media, the presence of a strong magnetic field along its direction of travel can rotate its polarization. This Faraday effect was first noticed by Michael Faraday as he searched for connections between electromagnetism and light. Remarkably, his discovery came long before James Maxwell's understanding of that connection. So now we'll explain the apparatus. So here we're using a green laser because um, it's easy to see and it's also easy to manipulate. Um, so in front of the green laser, we have a linear polarizer. Um, in front of that, we have two coils that are acting as one long solenoid, um, which is going to provide the magnetic field when we put a current through the coils. Um, and that is submerged in water. And then in front of that, we have another linear polarizer. Um, as you can see, when we place this linear polarizer in front of the laser beam, um, these two polarizers are um, oriented in a way such that they'll block out all of the laser beam when we place it in the direction, um, in the way of the beam. Um, and now we will demonstrate um, the effect that the magnetic field produced by the coil has when we put a current through the wires. Now we turn the current on. Observe that the laser beam is now visible on the screen, and now we turn the current off. With the magnet on, the beam can again be zeroed by rotating the second polarizer two degrees. Reversing the polarity of the current reverses the sign of the rotation. When the beam passes through air, which is above the water level, turning on the magnet has no effect. Thank you for watching and I hope you'll learn more about this effect in your physics class.